Uh, welcome, uh, this is module 2 lecture number 10, kinetics of gas solid re reduction, iron oxide reduction part 2. In the last lecture, we have discussed that iron oxide reduction can be described by the sinking core model and uh, uh, we have discussed two rate controlling mechanism that is if the reaction is chemically controlled at the surface, then what will be the time conversion relationship. Similarly, we have discussed if the reduction of iron oxide is controlled by gas film control that is the mass transfer through the gas film is, is, the, is the rate controlling step, then what is the time conversion correlationship. Now, today here in this lecture we will discuss if mass transfer through the ash layer is rate controlling. Now, this is this will be the concept covered, this is the concept that I am going to cover in this lecture that is the ash layer diffusion as the rate controlling step. Also we will discuss there is the mix control uh, situation that means if all the resistance like mass transfer through the film, mass transfer through the ash layer or diffusion through the ash layer and uh, chemical kinetics at the undirected code interface, if all these resistance are comparable in that case the system will be mixed control that we will also discuss in this lecture and finally, we will discuss two problem okay, related to iron oxide reduction. Now, let us consider the diffusion through the ash layer as the rate controlling step and in this case you can find that the whole concentration that is the, the concentration of the reactant only falls across the ash layer we can see because otherwise in the film there is no concentration gradient as well as in the at the reaction interface the concentration of A is equal to the equilibrium concentration. That means, reaction is also very fast such that the at the interface the equilibrium is attained immediately. So, concentration at the interface C A C is basically equal to C A E. Similarly, the concentration across the film is also constant that is the C A S is equal to the C A G means the gas concentration. So, only the major concentration drop take place only across the ash layer. Second item that we will consider that is the pseudo steady state diffusion across the ash layer. Actually what happens if you have a system with two fixed boundary like this and this and say reactant is moving through this reactant A passing through it and then in any system that is with the two fixed boundaries and a gaseous reductant suppose passing from this boundary to this boundary. In that case after the start of the process after some time this will come to a steady state because by that time we can have a uh, concentration profile what is the actual concentration profile will develop and that will not change with time that is the concentration at a particular location will remain constant. So, a fixed concentration profile will be set up across this boundary and whatever the flux the or the mass rate mass rate of A from this interface will, ex will be exactly equal to the mass rate of A across this interface. So, this will happen just after some time. If you have a two fixed boundary and a diffusing species is passing through A because it will take some time after the start of the process only uh, to develop the uh, that is the concentration profile steady state concentration profile because before that some accumulation will take place whatever the A is coming a part of A will be accumulated a part of A will be going out the system. As a result the concentration in the system will go on increasing at different location, but after some time it will come to a steady state that is the concentration profile will be fixed. So, after the start of the process after few time that is a few second or few minutes this will come to a equilibrium uh, this will come to a steady state depending on how fast A is moving across this thickness. Now, in this case especially in this case we can find that A is moving in this direction at the same time at the same time your uh, that is this boundary is also moving this is a moving boundary problem 
A is moving and also this boundary is also moving with time. Because it is a sinking core model, this solid interface, this unreacted core is also moving towards the core, A is also moving in this direction. So, how, so this situation is called a pseudo steady state, how we are doing it? Because if you just compare now the velocity, relative velocity of A, suppose the reactant is passing through this ash layer, what is the relative velocity of A with respect to the velocity of this solid interface? Now, this velocity of A that is the velocity or the speed at which A is transporting from this interface to this interface is much higher compared to the solid interface movement. And if you compare the density of solid and the gas is around 1000. Okay? So, their velocity will be of the other order of same thing. There is a relative velocity of transport of A through the ash layer and the movement of the solid interface, relative velocity of A as well as the solid interface will be of the order of 1000 if you consider the density difference that way. So, as a result, that is the A is transporting much faster, much, much faster around 1000 times than that of the movement of the solid interface. So, in this case, it will be safely we can assume that A will be there is the diffusion of A through the ash layer will attain in steady state when this that is the this interface remain intact. So, so we can consider this uh, that is the with respect to the with respect to the solid boundary we can assume that is the with respect to the movement of the solid boundary we can safely assume that is the A is attaining the steady state when and this boundary as a fixed boundary. So, this is the thing because the velocity of A is much faster than compared to the movement of the solid interface. So, we can assume a pseudo steady state situation here. That means, we can also here consider there is the two fixed boundaries and A is moving much faster compared to the movement of A. So, it will attain a steady state at least during this process. There is a diffusion of A through A that is the through this thickness is under steady state. So, with this, it is simply because the movement of A or the diffusion of A is much faster compared to the velocity at which the solid interface is shrinking. So, as a result, you can always consider a steady state mass transfer diffusion, the steady state diffusion of A in this uh, ash layer. So, if you consider that, so now the rate equation, how do you write? Because the same equation we are considering, that is the, the equation that we consider the same, that is A moles of A that is A moles of gas plus B of B solid forming C of C solid plus D of D gas. This is the equation that we considered. If you consider this equation, then from stoichiometry I can correlate there is a rate of consumption of B with A by this equation 1 by B minus of 1 by B dN by dt is equal to minus of o dNA by dt. Now, dNA by dt that is the rate of consumption or you can say that is the dNA dt that is uh, moles of A being consumed per unit time that is the rate of consumption of A at this interface is equal to what you can say the what will be the consumption of A what will be the consumption of A it will be equal to the flux time of the area flux time of area that is this gives you that is the moles per unit time. Okay, now, since it is in steady state the flux that is the mass rate mass rate of A through this interface through this interface or through this interface will be same because it is in steady state whatever the mass moles of A is transporting through this interface inside the same moles will cross this interface. Uh, per unit time and the same mole will reach this interface per unit time. So, that is whatever is shown here that is the this is the flux, but flux will be changing that is the and this is the flux of A at this interface multiplied by the area of this interface is equal to here also the flux uh, of A at this interface into area of this interface that is this one smaller one equal to 4 pi r square anywhere in between. So, this is here the area is 4 pi r square and the flux is q a 
and the q a you can simply write from fixed law of diffusion that is d into d c d r. So, now if you take this two term that is this is equal to this and from there uh, and integrating over the s layer we can have some correlation of the rate. Let us see that. So, what do you find this is if you integrate across the core uh, there is the s layer you take it out and d r by r square you take in the denominator then r 2 r c is equal to 4 pi d integration of d c a from this concentration c a s c a s basically c a g to c a c or you can write it basically here also you can write that is equal to this is equal to c a e that is the thing. So, c a c a g to c a e equilibrium concentration that is the equilibrium concentration c a e right. So, now if you integrate safely from r at r that is the concentration is c a g and r c concentration of c a e. So, if we just integrate over the s layer what we will get is what we will get is this thing that is minus of that is this thing that is the minus of 1 by b d n b d t 1 by r c minus 1 by r is equal to 4 pi d c a g minus c a e right. So, this is the expression we will get right. This is the expression we get this is so you can get also the instantaneous rate of b that is the rate at which b is consumed per unit time you, you can correlate at any value of r c or at any value of fractional reaction. Suppose that 40 percent fractional reaction what is the instantaneous rate you can get from there because that 40 percent fractional reaction what is the value of r c you can calculate. Okay. So, from there you can easily calculate that thing. So, r c and fractional reaction is correlated you can simply correlate it because fractional reaction is you can simply show that any time the fractional reaction you can show that is the x b you can see uh, that is the initially your this thing r square minus r c square a uh, cube sorry cube by r cube because 4 third pi r cube into rho b minus 4 third pi r, r c cube into rho b that is the mass that has been consumed divided by 4 third uh, pi r cube into rho that is the initial mass. So, if you just cancel it out it will be like this. So, simply x b is equal to 1 minus r c by r whole cube. So, r c so x b at 40 percent reaction what is the value of r c you can calculate. So, at any fractional reaction if you want to know the instantaneous rate of b being consumed you can get the from this equation. So, let us go to the next slide where we will show diffusion through the ash layer as the rate that is the we are continuing. Now, we will integrate across the time if we just integrate across the time and then rho b as I said we can correlate the rho b rho b we can write in terms of r c like this rho b is equal to you know, 4 pi r c square d r c d t considering that rho b is equal to rho b we consider 4 third pi r c cube rho b. So, if you just take no no that is the other the thing. So, you are basically rho b is thing rho b is this basically uh, rho b now rho b now that is the, the sorry this is your uh, exactly sorry this is this is your uh, any at any time and uh, that is the n b that is the moles of b at any time t is this thing. So, d n b d t basically d n b by d t you can write in this form just you differentiate with respect to time it will be like this. So, rho b into 4 pi r c square uh, d r c d t because r, r cube is equal to 3 r c square okay, d r c d t. So, basically 3 3 cancel out from there. So, you can get this thing sorry this is equal to your fourth term will be there yeah this is equal to right d n b d t is equal to this thing. So, if you just replace that thing basically here d n b d t it will come in this form. So, it will come finally, in this form and then if you just uh, integrate it what will get this thing that is the time and r c correlation you will get and also the total time for uh, total time for reduction you can get from there also because using r c become equal to 0 
So, it will simply tell tau become this thing rho r b square 6 c b this expression and interesting thing here is to note that here you can find that is the tau that is your tau is directly proportional to r square not r. So, when ash layer diffusion control the tau is directly proportional to the r square, but in case of the chemically controlled process or your uh, transport through the film as the rate controlling step in both the cases we have seen tau is directly proportional to the r, here we can find this tau is directly proportional to the r square. So, there is the total time for reduction this expression also we get and finally, simply we can get that is your that is the relation between time and the fractional reaction also we can get t by tau is equal to 1 minus 3 1 minus x b 2 divided 2 third. Basically, you just r c by r as I said you have a you have this thing that is the x b is simply 1 minus r c by r cube. So, from there you can replace r c by half square r c by r to the cube in terms of x b you can get like this. So, finally, this is the relationship between the reduced time or the dimensionless time and the fractional reaction. So, under when the process is S layer diffusion control, then the time conversion relationship is given by this thing. So, in this case if you do some laboratory experiment and if you follow plot the reduced time on the x axis and the y axis if you plot this parameter and uh, if you find that it follows a straight line passing through the like this. So, it follows a straight line passing through this here if you draw true by tau and this is whatever you call it at the this term is the RHS. So, RHS if you plot the RHS thing on the right hand side and t by tau it follows the straight line like this experimental data point and then obviously, this will be diffusion control process. Ash layer diffusion control process. Okay, fine. So, let us now go to the mixed control situation. Now, think is that basically when the resistance are in series because here all the resistance are in series because the as diffusion through the film, then ash layer diffusion and then finally, chemical reaction at the interface. So, here basically what you have seen all are in series all the resistance are in series. And uh, so, how you can look it this is like this. So, you have basically if I plot it if I just draw it like this if you have a film here you have a film this is the film. Then if you have ash layer this is the ash and then it is your unreacted core unreacted core interface right this is the unreacted one. So, in this case what happens your if you draw a concentration profile it will be in the gash and then there will be a continuous drop in the concentration profile right that and also you have this is the concentration profile and you have a drop in concentration here to here also right. Suppose, this is the concentration as C A E and this is your concentration of C A C, this is the concentration C A S uh, yeah, and this is the concentration C A G. So, you can find from C A G to C A S there is a concentration difference and then there is C A S to C A C there also concentration difference and then at the interface also this concentration is not the equilibrium concentration because there is also resistance due to chemical reaction. So, actual the concentration is here the C A E. So, you have throughout the concentration difference throughout the concept from here to here, here to here, here to here. So, all process have equal resistance and as a result you are considering a mixed control situation. So, under this condition what happens you can see that this is this is the current that is going that is the d n b d t and normalized with respect to the surface area outer surface area 1 by 4 pi r square that is the basically this is the. So, this is basically the flux of B okay, that is that is the current okay, this is the current and then your resistances are like this that is the film resistance is 1 by kg and the ash layer resistance is r into r minus r c by r c into d and the resistance 
due to chemical reaction is R square by R C square into K s. So, this is basically what we have derived previously and from there also we can get this resistance. Okay. So, these are the different resistance are in series and they are connected in series and they are of comparable magnitude. The what I will do basically this is the current is equal to potential difference C A G minus C A E that is the across which because this is the concentration and this is the final concentration. So, across this all the resistance are there. So, now we are adding up this resistance this 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 this. So, the rate under a mixed control situation will be given by this right. So, just we are adding up the uh, what is that called the resistances. So, now next what we get there is the relative importance of individual resistance changes. You can see the this individual resistance are also changing with um, R C significantly. As conversion process this basically the resistance also changes. Okay. So, so basically here actually here here uh, basically we want you can cut this portion basically uh, basically individual resistance changes as the conversion progress that I want to mean. So, here basically you can see that is the only kg this is the resistance film resistance is not a function of R c where you can find the S layer diffusion is the function of R c a complicated function of R c and here basically chemical uh, that is the resistance at the interface. Uh, at the unreacted core interface due to chemical reaction is also a function of R c, but just it is inversely proportional to the R c square. So, resistance. Okay. So, now this resistance uh, that is that is the with the progress of time this resistance will change. There is the ash layer resistance and the uh, chemical reaction resistance will change. Because you can understand why the chemical uh, there is that the interface resistance change because the surface area is shrinking that is the surface uh, there is the code is shrinking the surface area is changing with time. Okay. So, that is there. So, and also you can find that is the ash layer also it is a function of R c. Now, if you now if you want to just uh, average out what is the resistance average resistance of the process then what we can do we can simply integrate over an uh, finite volume element right and then integrate from uh, R to R c right that. So, that is the thing we will be doing. So, suppose we want to calculate the uh, volume average resistance of various steps we can obtain by this equation. You can see that is omega is the resistance and 4 pi R c square d R c is the elemental a uh, finite volume element in a sphere finite volume element is sphere 4 pi, pi 4 pi R c square is basically your the surface area of the sphere multiplied by R c a incremental distance that is the d R c if you do. So, you can get an annular finite volume element in the sphere and it has a volume of this and you multiply the resistance and you integrate from 0 to r and finally, divide by the total volume. So, it is a volume average resistance if you calculate the volume average resistance then you can get there is the rate equation you can get in terms of the volume average resistance. If you do that, then you will get the rate is equal to C A G minus C A E divided by 1 by K G plus R by 2 D. R by 2 D is the average resistance of the for diffusion through the gas film. Similarly, 3 by K S is the average resistance for chemical reaction at the interface and average resistance because 1 by K G does not change because it does not depend on the your uh, uh, depend on the what R c it does not depend on the R c because it, it, it surface area is 4 pi R square on which through which that is the gas penetrated in the film. So, basically here so, so basically these are the average resistance. So, you can write the overall rate that is 1 by 4 pi R square d n b d t or d, d n a d t you can write this thing is equal to is the same thing that is you can write this minus of 1 by 4 pi r square 1 by b d n b d t is equal to this is equal to this. So, you can get this relationship right. So, from here you can calculate if it is a mixed control process then you can calculate the average resistance and you know the potential gradient that is the C A G minus C A E. Okay, and then you can calculate the rate. Right. 
Now we will discuss two problems. Problem number 1, let us consider the reduction of iron ore of density 4.6 gram per cc, it is basically magnetite f 3 o 4 and size of 5 millimeter by hydrogen reduction uh, can be approximated by the unreacted core model that we are assuming. With no water vapor present at the interface, the irreversible and stoichiometry of the reaction can be given by this. When I say no water vapor in the interface, that means there is no accumulation of water vapor at the interface. As soon as it forms, it goes away uh, towards the, it moves towards the, uh, what is that, atmosphere, right, through the gas. So, there is no accumulation of H2 at the interface. So, you can consider that that is uh, with no water vapor present at the interface, right, right. So, if there is no water vapor present at the interface, then what you can consider this reaction will move in the forward direction only because there is no accumulation. So, backward reaction will not take place, the reaction become irreversible. So, that is why I have given this sign, irreversible sign I have given. So, this reaction is irreversible because water vapor is not staying at the interface, it is moving, that is the assumption you have done. And then the stoichiometry you can simply write, but here you can find there is a rate of consumption of Fe3O4 is that is the is uh, uh, one fourth that of the hydrogen being consumed. So, hydrogen is consumed four times than that of the Fe 3 O 4 that you have to keep in mind. Okay. So, now the rate becomes directly proportional because then also the equilibrium concentration at the interface you can say interface the reaction is taking place that the, uh, it, that, that is the rate is approximately proportional to the concentration of hydrogen in the gas stream and concentration of hydrogen at the interface you can assume to be 0 almost. Okay. So, because the reaction is moving in the forward direction only, that is as soon as the hydrogen is the interface it is being consumed. So, its concentration is 0 and uh, almost 0 and then you can approximate that is the rate is directly proportional to the hydrogen concentration in the gas stream. So, the first order rate constant that is given by OTK and this given by this correlationship and where this 24000 is the activation energy, it is in calorie. So, when you have to calculate K s, basically keep in mind there is the R is equal to 1.98 value we take that is equal to basically the calorie per moles per degree Kelvin, right. Okay. Now, taking the effective diffusivity of 0 0.03 centimeter per second, the average value of diffusion coefficient for hydrogen penetration of the product layer. So, you consider there is the effective diffusivity of hydrogen through the product layer is 0 0.03 centimeter square per second, right. Now, calculate the time required for total conversion. And second question is, does any particular resistance control? If not, what is the relative importance of various resistance in steps? Okay. So, let us see the solution. What will be the solution? First, we calculate the case. Case, as I said, you take this is in calories. So, you take 1.98 for R value and 600 degree centigrade is the 873 Kelvin. So, you get case value that is uh, 0 0.18. 0 0.18 basically this value is basically you can say centimeter per, this is basically centimeter per second, right. This is, this is and then average, what is the your, if you, if you as soon as you consider this thing, then average resistance you can case you know. So, average resistance due to chemical reaction is 3 by case we can do and then it is coming around 16.66. Right. Okay. Now we can go. That is the what is the average resistance in the ash layer? Simply R by twice D. So if you do, it is coming around 8.33. So total resistance is because you can see these two resistances are comparable, right? So you cannot ignore one with respect to the other. So you have to add up that both the resistance. Then you will get the total resistance is 25. So now you have to calculate the hydrogen concentration in the gas. Now, hydrogen is you can consider it as a pure and it is at one atmospheric pressure. So, for if you apply the ideal gas law, it will be 1 by 1 R p by R t that is the p by R t because p is equal to C R t. So, ideal gas law equation if you take and then you can get in the moles per C c right. So, I have taken R here is equal to 0 0.082 that is liter atmosphere degree uh, that is the mole Kelvin. So, per mole Kelvin, so that value we have taken and this is T is equal to 73, 873. So, it is becoming a small per liter and then if you convert to CC then divided by 1000, 
you will get this is the moles per cc. So, hydrogen concentration in the gas you can got it. So, next uh, this is the stoichiometry. So, you write the stoichiometric equation, rate equation you can write that is the 1 by 4 pi r square uh, d and Fe 3 O 4 by d t is equal to minus 1 by 4 because hydrogen consumes 4 times that of, of Fe 3 O 4. So, you have this correlation then it is d n h 2 d 2 d n h 2 d t d n h 2 d t is equal to simply this much that is the potential difference by resistance and 1 by 4 the stoichiometry it is coming right from stoichiometry it is coming. So, if you just integrate over the time you will get this relationship then you can calculate after integrating this thing you can calculate simply what is the value of tau, tau will look like this and then if you put up the values all the values you can get that it will come around 9 hours right right it will come around 9 hours and then and so sim simply that second question was whether it is a any particular control no it is not a control by any particular step it is a mixed control situation where chemical reaction as well as the uh, diffusion to the gas stream is the rest controlling step it is a mixed control problem and the relative resistance of chemical reaction is around twice that of the ash layer resistance here chemical resistance is twice that of the ash layer but they are of comparable magnitude and finally you can get that so this is the problem number 1 now we go to the problem number 2 here we discuss a sphere of ustide is being reduced by hydrogen to metallic iron at 700 degrees centigrade by hydrogen we need to calculate the instantaneous rate of reduction at fractional reaction of 40 percent as well as the time required to attain the same. So, here at the beginning we are telling that is let us consider that it is a ash layer diffusion control and then you have two idea one two things you have to calculate the instantaneous rate when the fractional reaction is 40 percent and also you calculate what is the time required to attain the same. So, assume diffusion through the post layer is the rate controlling. So, these are the diameter of the sphere is given at 0 0.015 meter and the diffusivity of hydrogen in the porous iron is 1.4 to 10 to minus 4 meter square per second. So, here the units are given in MK system and density of boost height is 4000 kg per meter cube and also pH to H2 equilibrium with the uh, Ustide Fe equilibrium at the interface pH2 by H2 value is given as 0.39 right. So, that is the equilibrium value is given there because, because it is a chemical process. So, it is a chemical reaction taking place very fast the interface is always at equilibrium. So, that is why the equilibrium composition is given there. So, now this is the stoichiometry of this equation is simple relationship you can see ustide and hydrogen they consume at the same rate one mole of ustide is consumed by one mole of hydrogen. So, absolutely there is no problem. So, and this is the total time that as we know there is the for S layer controlled that we that is the relationship we have obtained T by tau with the fractional reaction and the, this is the basically total time for uh, reduction. So, you, you can calculate now first of all we are given pH 2 H 2 pH 2 by pH 2 is given 0.39 from there we can simply calculate what is the partial pressure of H 2 at the interface. Basically, uh, we will be considering that this is the way there is the concentration profile like this that is the P H 2 equilibrium here P H 2 0. So, we will consider this thing basically at the gas that is basically 0 and this value we can calculate and we will consider that is the transfer of uh, that is the moisture that is the H 2 through the uh, ash layer is the rate controlling state. So, that is the thing we are doing. So, so, we have to calculate pH 2 equilibrium you can simply calculate the pH 2 equilibrium is 0.28 where mind it pH 2 plus pH 2 is equal to 1 atmospheric pressure. So, you can simply calculate and from there you can calculate the concentration in moles per meter cube using the ideal gas law pH 2 by RT and then it comes around 3.51 right. So, now we get time for complete reaction you can simply tau you can get using this formula that is the here you can see only thing 4000 it is the density of ustide is 4000 kg per meter cube and then 1000 by 70 basically we have converted to the moles per meter cube because it has to be converted to moles because this concentration is also moles per meter cube and any correlation is in terms of moles only here. So, and then this is the radius radius is this thing and this is 6 into diffusivity and obviously B is equal to 1 so I get to 1. 
So, here then you gain 17.9 minutes. So, okay. So, total time for reduction 17.9 minutes and if you want to attain that how much time it requires, this is basically the total time uh, of reduction. That is the total time of reduction. That is the total style if you want to reduce this is the time. Now, you are asked to calculate what is the time when it attains the 40 percent of this reduction. So, from T by tau relationship we can calculate we know the total time of reduction is 17.9 into this term. If you do that then you can get 71 second. So, 71 second that is uh, yeah 71 second will be required when it attains 40 percent of the reduction right. And now another question was there that is we have to calculate that is uh, what is the instantaneous rate. So, now again if you want to calculate the instantaneous rate of reduction at 40 percent uh, 40 percent fractional reaction. So, when 40 percent reaction has been done what is the instantaneous rate at that time. So, this is basically we can calculate this is the rate of oxygen removal per unit time is correlated with the rate of hydrogen removal this is the H 2 removal per unit time is a 1 1 relationship and this is the value we know. This is the hydrogen removal rate at instantaneously at a particular time through the S layer diffusion control and then if you can put and we can as I said XB is related to RC. So, you can calculate at 40 percent fractional reduction what is the value of RC you can get from there and then you put this value here after doing that you can get instantaneous rate of oxygen removal at 40 percent reduction is 2.56 10 to the minus 4 moles per second right. So, well so, these are the two reference octave Levin spill as I said this is a very good hook for sinking core model and HS ray and A Ghosh also I have discussed the second problem. So, coming to the conclusion we have seen there is the ash layer diffusion control process the dimensional less uh, time there is the reduced time to the fractional extraction or fractional reduction is uh, given by this correlation and for mixed plate a mixed control process instantaneous rate of reaction in terms of average resistance can be expressed like this at any time you can like this where the average resistance in the ash layer is r by twice d average resistance in the uh, interface chemical that is the unreacted code interface for due to chemical reaction 3 by ks and average resistance is the film is 1 by kg. So, instantaneous rate of reduction at certain fractional reaction time for complete or partial reduction can be estimated using this formula and which is demonstrated by this two problem. So, thank you very much.